G'day, g'day, g'day. Welcome to A Game on Lumber. Haven't seen this map for a while because it can't be played with spectators as it uh, doesn't work in the R5 map packs. So playing this against Simmers, this is actually a bunch of pracks we played. Three games on th uh, three different maps. And I'm Germans. He's on the USA team. So Simmers is a player in the upcoming tournament and I'm giving a, him a few pracks. And we're playing on direct IP. And for you new players, if you don't know what that is, basically you can play Assault Squad by connecting directly via IP instead of going through the Steam lobby. So in the options, you can add some server IPs and then you can join by clicking on LAN and then you should be able to see all the games, basically, which uh, you have the IPs connected to. But for the host, you do have to forward it though, forward the ports. So that means... Oh uh, yeah, that means yeah, the host needs to forward the right ports uh, to his local IP. So again, single SMGs. I wanted to try um, more singles. I've been playing a lot with Pringles, and he's actually changed a bit of my meta with using some lower tier infantry, like conscripts, and also going more SMGs inst instead of rifles, depending on where I am. So in a place where I'm expecting close forward combat, I'm going SMGs. Uh, before I didn't think it would be a big deal because I think rifles can one-shot things at close range, but after experimenting with him, I've, I'm kind of convinced that at closer range, SMGs are definitely better. Uh, the, it does make sense that they are better, but with um, yeah, with their ability to suppress. So even if they don't um, kill anything, they do suppress well. Not that great as Germans, but as Japanese, wow. That SMG is crazy fire rate. So also with Soviets uh, with the super ammunition clip of the PBSH. So trying to out micro, see no lag whatsoever, this is absolutely wonderful, no frustration. And pushing up my assault squad through the center, just trying to prevent him from coming closer and also I can swing that assault squad in the center to the eastern point to reinforce and really this is a key micro moment. Just gonna try and get a nice juicy grenade, dodging a few bullets. Just, I need that one to cook, but I've got another one here coming. The other one was just to make him make him duck for cover, so I could throw the next one. I'm protected by that toilet, Mr. Simmers. So trying to get the three cap going, and I'll push my other squad to reinforce. So I think Simmers, uh, what did he do wrong in that engagement? I think he got to the flags a bit too late, the other ones. Especially the eastern point, he didn't send anyone there. I didn't really have anyone there either. But for uh, some reason, he he didn't send anyone there. So from here, I can kind of flank the center and also go to the eastern. So it looks like see, he went um, Assault Squad, Assault Squad 2. Um, I did quite well in my initial engagement, so I've got enough infantry on the field. And I'm comfortable that uh, to get comfortable enough to get a looks, and I don't think he has money for any of any other infantry, so anything else other than infantry. So I'm guessing he's going to go dodge to counter. So I'll just do a bit of damage first. Probably doesn't have the MP quite yet. There's AT rifle there. I'm gonna just try take it out. See if I get lucky. Um, yeah. So while I'm watching myself play, I'll, I've actually spoken to Instinct today. I had a quite a decent discussion on balance. He messaged me out the blue saying, "What's wrong with the saboteurs?" Obviously, he's probably read some of the threads on the forums, and uh, he's noticed that. I told him basically it's not worth it. Then I asked him um, if he wants to know what else is unbalanced, and then he said yes. So I just spammed him with about 20 different lines of balanced talk. So what he's thinking of doing is actually now going to make USA tank destroyers a bit more accurate, such as the Pershing gun and the Slugger gun, make it more accurate, because um, like Achilles is so much better than the Slugger right now, and it's so much more, um, so much more um, cheaper than the Slugger. So that's going to happen, hopefully next patch. Uh, also, useless units like the Saboteur and Spetsnaz. They're okay, I guess, later game. 
uh, very rare case, but most of the time you want to go Black Watch or the 30 Cal Squad, because in this meta it's just push, push, push. And yeah, so it's not, not good enough, especially with the Spetsnaz just dying after you kill something. And you compare that to the Kamikaze, which is five guys, and then you compare that with um, also with the Brandenburger, which is four Panzerfaust guys. It's a no-brainer. So he's going to make it, I think, two two guys in a Spetsnaz or a Saboteur squad, which will make it viable. I still wouldn't buy it early game because I want to push and, and get the infantry domination. But uh, late game, it will definitely be viable bi since uh, once you get to the late game, the 30 cal and the Black Watch squad's use is diminished because you can't really outspam the opponent at that stage because the front lines are established and also you know, infantry is quite cheap and you have a lot more MP. So you just buy a normal squad usually instead of spending your special points. Uh, decent flank here. I started talking about other things, but yeah, I, d I think you get the gist by just watching me play if you want to pick up something on the map for you players who are playing in the tournament. Uh, also, yeah, I've told him about the Royal Engineers being useless, uh, Combat Engineers being useless, Devil's Brigade needs a buff, um, all sorts of things. What else is there? Our oh, Crusader AA, he's going to look into that, why the M19 is more expensive than the Crusader 40mm AA, which it should be the other way around. So he's going to look into that. Um, didn't agree, didn't directly agree with me on my point about the Crusader AA 40mm. I should have sent him that video <laughs> to make him laugh. Uh, probably didn't, doesn't uh, help my cause. Um, so, yeah, hopefully some good changes in the next patch with balance as well. I've talked to him about the unlock units and all, all that as well. Um, he's saying he's going to leave it on till um, the bots come out, because that way you can unlock unlock units while playing bots. So it's mainly for new players to get used to get used to buying uh, or get used to the units and they can play with mates and unlock um, unlock units via skirmish. So unfortunately for veterans, he said, I know it's not uh, ideal for you guys, but he's considering the new players. Um, that's why he's locked the units that way. Um, yeah, whatever. I don't really agree, but uh, that's fair enough, I guess, for new players. Um, yeah, I think his matchmaking is broken, that's why. Um, it's not for for me or most of these, most of you veteran players out there. You don't bother with matchmaking because of the issues, pull plugs, uh, people just control deleting, people abusing you because they're scared of losing rank. Uh, it should be all removed. I requested that from him as well. Um, yeah, I don't know how. The, I don't think he's, he's going to change that though. So performance, I did mention. I talked to him about performance as well saying how much better it runs on the wrecked IP, what's wrong with the netcode. You can see this game is perfect. There's no time where I clicked on unit and didn't move. There's no time where I clicked on a grenade, didn't grenade, or vice versa. Um, this is direct IP. So I recommend you guys play this if you have mates, just playing in-house as mates. And also if you are playing in a tournament, just as long as you, I guess, kind of trust the players. Um, there's probably nothing the other player can do um, to nice grenade there. Other player can do to hack your PC with just the meta war ports open, but uh, yeah, I doubt most people will do that. So if you trust, if you, if you trust, well, if you're sorry, if you are, I don't know, if you trust people enough, <laughs> do it in the tournament. I'll definitely be hosting direct IP games uh, for those that need it, and I think Simmers and a few others will have direct IP games available. And maybe Delta Dude as well, because he can change his IP, his external IP as well. It's much better. I totally forgot, because the last patch did fix the netcode a little bit. Just a little bit, um, to make it playable. And we stopped playing direct IP after the last patch to make it easier instead of having to go via IP each time. But going back to it, you just realize how much better it is. Even at 400ms, direct IP feels like feels better than a 30, 450ms game in a normal Steam chat. So. Definitely do that. So going to looks again, filling the gaps. It's just a nice unit to just fill the gaps in lumber. Um, Simmons, is you, is doing a great job holding the three cap. I can't seem to get a three cap off him. So this is what you should do anyway. So even though it doesn't turn out your way, uh, Simmons is doing good to hold on to at least one flag. This means the flag points don't tick up as fast. With three flags, it's it's not just it doesn't add like an extra third to the capping rate. It actually doubles it even more. 
So Simmer's using the dodgy um, plane tactic. He's got an MG on that crash plane. If you guys don't know about that, it makes me I can't advance that way basically without having to micro grenade that bastard. So opportunity here for my Brandenburgers. I've spread them out very nicely. Um, Simmer's probably needed to spread out his squad coming forward a bit as well because he didn't have good line of sight. Um, and if you don't have good line of sight, you have to really follow your tank and make it wide. Make your spread of troops wide to find Brandenburgers with the Germans. So there you go. That's a big game changer. So I was confident going the just the looks um, because without um, buying a tank or tank counter, because my Brandenburgers were in perfect position. I had yeah, four in different locations, and no matter where he went, I would have been able to take it out, most likely. So I feel like I need an extra punch to punch through the western side. I think it's a good time now to do it, because with uh, him not having much to counter, he won't be able to counter my infantry with uh, an infantry killer, with the amount of MP he has. So now my paras can just try push a hole in. So we've got uh, tournament changes, a few more tournament changes. I'll put out another video, but oh, forget about that. We got a survey. I got a survey, fun survey, uh, which I'll put into a nice fancy video later on, which um, will just be a survey on who do you think will win uh, the tournament and the groups. See who the people's favorite is compared to my favorite. See if you can get it right. Uh, I really wish there was more better prizes in this, but uh, yeah, at the moment I can't really put out my own money. The tournaments because I'm having a baby soon and um, not really on a tight I'm guessing on a relatively tight budget because there's so many things uh, to buy so many um, yeah obviously my wife's not working so uh, so yeah I can't can't give a prize out this time maybe I can give you I can I'd probably give out a few I've got a free copy of uh, depth and rise of nations and I think uh, yeah I've got a salt squad I probably can get a free, free DLCs. I'll just ask Delta dude if uh, they're willing to donate some DLCs. But um, I want the players to in the tournament to actually buy the DLCs before they finish the tournament, so I can uh, cast all the games. Oh, oh by the way, uh, casters. I don't know if you know. Uh, good, good, good friend with the connections, Mr. Jutska. Um, Diplex heated might cast. Uh, the thing is, though, Diplex heated is is a military service right now. So he can't um, really cast till later. But if, uh, I managed to get Prince of Macedon. He said he's keen. Uh, also, Shermanator. Jutska has got Shermanator. So pretty big casters here. I'm quite excited. I'm really not really happy that I can't play in it. <laughs> I wish I could play in it. Um, but uh, at least, yeah, no, it'd be good for the community. Most definitely, I can't. I really can't wait to see the matchups. And hopefully, I think with direct RP it should be fine. Like there won't be any lag um, in the netcode. So for the big matches, I think definitely we'll need to arrange some direct IP hosts. Because um, obviously, yeah, not you don't need to do it for every match. Because a lot of matches I think will be one-sided, but some of the matches are going to be so neck and neck, and that's where I definitely want to organise a direct IP host. Um, so really, being able to keep my remember the infantry infantry killer tutorial being able to keep my infantry killer alive which is that looks um, is really really important and really important to counter it and Simmons just doesn't have a counter for it the counter for it is actually a dodge I um, don't know if you saw that tractor yeah that that tractor play was quite funny um, I don't know if uh, I was quite proud of that actually <laughs> I didn't never I just had that idea in my head oh I could use this tractor as something I could block uh, the dodge with and moved, moved with it so might be a good option, guys. That Sim is doing well to hold that flag, can't do much. Do you want to send the looks over because I need to defend because the pressure is quite quite um, intense by Simmers in the center. So I need to really hold. Yeah, so I've got about uh, two to three months left of really videoing. Um, so I'm doing it well, I guess, yeah, no kid, um, my wife's still working, Works. she works on weekends, so I, I got the weekend to do videos, really, that's why I usually do all my video time. Uh, hopefully you guys still stick around, though, when I don't post videos, because I do want to, or post often, maybe once a week or twice a week, 
Um, hopefully it'll be good quality ones. Uh, just less often. Um, so get on the side on the six pound. I'm not scared. I can run it over. It comes closer. It's gonna totally cut him off. Uh, made, made a mistake right there. Lucky it wasn't an SMG, so it didn't have an AT grenade. Should have sent my guys a bit sooner. But now I can just uh, really go around. I see the Brandenburger back there. I've kind of moved it away from the path where the enemy would go by. Uh, but really, to be honest, uh, this game, I guess, yeah, there was really outplayed with the counters. Um, even counters got countered, just out micro, out positioned, um, just outplay. Not really ma macro wise. Simmers did okay. He bought correct units, but I think just macro, micro wise, or uh, yeah, that's I think what, what happened. There's all these little things that went uh, that I did, um, just were a little bit better. That's the that's the only reason. I think he bought fine. So I got my Brandes, Brandenburgers uh, sneaking on him. So even if he got the center flag in time, would have been okay. So that, that was Lumber. I'm going to be posting less 1v1s, I, I guess, closer to the tournament. I know you guys are sick of it. Might start posting some more fun videos, tutorials, or other things like that. G'day guys, another direct IP game on Kreuzberg. Another map that you can't play in the R5 map pack with uh, spectators, so I am going to play this one, take all the uh, chances I can. So sending, uh, going USA versus Japan is an interesting one. I wanted to see how I can counter them, because I know, from my opinion, USA against Japan is pretty hard. Uh, going Garands, as USA, I think that is a given, instead of Thompson's. Garands are too good to to miss, miss out on. So I'm choosing to not go too much on the west. I'm going to just try and win the center at all costs and also try to take the eastern, but sending some guys via the center way so we can get as much firepower onto the center and win it, then go onto the eastern point. So Simmons got a, got a bit slow, got there a bit slow in my opinion, um, for some reason. That's the reason why he's going to lose this engagement. Split them up a bit. He's actually sent quite a few guys onto his eastern point as well to defend, so that was unlucky, or unfortunate for me. Uh, usually you don't see anyone, or only one unit on the eastern point just for capping, so I was just planning on that happening, but no, it didn't work. So instead, Simmons didn't send anyone to the western as well. So I noticed that, quickly going to take advantage of that, and he's noticed that as well, I think, and he's sending one guy too. And just going to try out shoot these guys. Garands will be able to take out these rifles quite easily. Just two guys to kill, and I'll just take it. Man, he got my guys with grenades too at the back. But I got M1 Grand, baby, so knock one guy out, bam. Focus on the other one. So really non-frustrating game in this lag, lag-free scenario. Uh, direct IP, remember? Uh, where you can with friends, host the direct IP game. Much more smoother, less frustrating. And constrips. So going to constrips just to get numbers. Uh, didn't work out too well because I ran into an SMG close range. Uh, in hindsight, or no, in I guess in the ideal world, I would have been able to get further into the um, crate area with all the barrels. So I can just use my close range, and it doesn't really matter in close range. My accuracy should be quite good too. So coming towards the center again, just trying to push in. I'm going to now try hold off the crate area, so get in there. After getting in there, just infest this crate area. So he can't really approach the center, because that's the number one spot, in my opinion, to approach the center and the western point. If you hold that area, you can hold two flags, in my opinion. As you see, they've only got a few options. They could probably come to change around, as Simmers is right now coming from the other way, but it's not the natural way that the Japanese team will go. So here, yeah, just gonna just try ambush the bastard. Didn't realize there was a fence there. <laughs> Didn't really need to use the grenades because um, 
yeah, just got outshot really in ambush. They were just recruits. That's fair enough. So I, I ambushed these recruits before they could get into a nice uh, ambush spot. Return the favour. And SSD coming alone didn't really have much troops left. And unfortunately, yeah, right now, again, um, buys, he's buying fine. It's just not, I think the bike was a bad buy though. Definitely it was a bad buy. There was no use for it at that stage of the game. Nothing to ambush, it couldn't fight units behind cover. And SSD just been taken out without him noticing. So that's really just, I guess, um, an error. Unforced error by Simmers. In execution. Not really in in buys. And uh, yeah, finally I guess he's smokering elsewhere. Didn't put the bike in the right position. Uh, but good play by Simmers. You see an infantryman there's a red dot on that building near my spawn. So it's actually infested the guy in that building. I can't do much about it unless I flame him. Or spend a long time grenading multiple times, which I won't do. So he's got a uh, line of sight there for the rest of the game, just because he done that. This is Kruzberg. Kruzberg, I did the same to him on the building towards his area. Um, there's a guy in that building. So it'll be interesting to see. So I want the AT Jeep. Um, I don't know. I think it's decent. Especially Jeep's, Jeep's armor is so good. They're going to nerf the Jeep armor, by the way. It's currently, uh, if you rate it at a 10, the hit, a scale of 10, the hit points are 10 right now. It's going to be nerfed to about, I think, uh, 7. I can't remember the exact stats, so it's going to be nerfed a bit. Uh, but either way, this is a 50-50 play for me. Um, I guess it's a decent buy because I didn't really have anything else. Could have got a Greyhound, perhaps, but 50-50 uh, play again where this is a cheaper. So you can shoot through that window. Bam! <laughs> and I should have taken it out now because there's so many infantry even coming, swarming into the center, and this can't, my turret of the AT gun was actually turned the other way, and it's going to take forever. Got me. That was actually worth it though, because it's actually cheaper than Hugga. It's a funny thing though, with the Japanese, you never exchange 50-50 uh, plays in a good way, because they're always uh, fighting you with a cheaper unit. <laughs> it's not really embarrassing, AT Jeep counters. Uh, Simmons consented for me to put this up for analysis, really, just to see what went wrong. Uh, also, um, yeah, no, it's not embarrassing, mate. They're, they're pretty good. <laughs> the Willy's ATG is a good, good weapon. So going right, uh, so intercept him easily. 50 cal can take it out from the side as well. No issue whatsoever. Now, uh, uh, yeah, the ambushes are working quite well in here. Just one guy behind a wall. Taking out many. So send the marines onto the right. Should be able to just push through through the sheer power. Uh, for new players, this is why the... This is why USA team is good. Because with the Germans, you don't have this. You have Brandenburgers, they're defensive and stealthy. Uh, you have Sniper, they're, def they're attritional and slow. And you have 30 cal and you have marines. You can really win if you push, attack, attack, attack. You'll win. Uh, because uh, in a shootout, yep, all those things will lose in a quick battle. Sniper versus uh, four, five M1 Garands and a 30 cal, yeah, sniper will lose. Um, yeah, there goes the nice, decent buy. 80 rifle infantry takes out my Greyhound. Uh, probably the only AT rifle I would buy in the game. I still wouldn't buy it, in, in fact, because uh, I'd rather 100% a counter, because the AT rifle can really only take out light vehicles, and I want to buy something like a Hargo, which can take out light vehicles, but also can take out like medium tanks if you get into the right range, where AT rifle would not possibly do that. Um, so... This really the score scoreboard is actually quite close still. Still, I didn't haven't, haven't been winning that much. Simmons has been pressuring well, just uh, losing a lot more units than I have in the engagements so far. Now swooping around the Marines to the left. This time he has got a squad uh, coming not too far behind. Should be, a bit, be should go a bit better for him. So 
they yeah, couldn't go flank him with those troops next to him. I think Simmers goes ape shit right now. I couldn't do much versus this. Here comes the flame. <laughs> no. Bam. Takes out everything. And the center as well. So, um, Greyhound coming again. Gonna try to take it out. In priority, I suppose. I've got nothing really to do um, to take it out that I can afford unless I wait for the croc. But it's going to be too slow and I want this ground to actually uh, be useful in killing infantry as well. As you can see, it can mop up with the 50 cal quite well. It's an infantry killer. See, this is a... it's killed, but it's still alive. SSD is really um, notorious for absorbing shots. You may crew injure it, but it can take, I guess, unlimited amount of shots. I should have APCR rounded it. Wasn't too laggy to try. Unless it's like a larger caliber gun. The Sherman will take it out in one shot. So even if I go point blank, nothing's happening. Flames everything. Uh, Hago is a priority now on the left. Need to try focus fire it. No. Yeah, and he gets me. So going to Croc. LV Spy versus the Japanese. Um, right now he doesn't have much MP, so this is going to dominate. Uh, Japan does have options though, with the Chinu. Chinu is actually a 50-50 play versus the Sherman, and it's cheaper. Also 75mm AA, if you get to a good position, um, it's just going to dominate. Kruisberg, not so much. Too many buildings around. But yeah, this is why the Japanese are so deadly, um, because you have to always spend a bit more. To be honest, their units aren't balanced. <laughs> their units are better than other nations. Um, yeah, I think I think really they, they are just better in a lot of things. I guess they don't have the firepower USA does with the 30 cal. Oh, they do. They got the home guard. The, the th first squad, I guess. It's got the SSD instead. Yeah, it's a bit unsure with the Japanese. Japanese have never been really taken into a tournament seriously. Because uh, no one really plays them in public. Well, not many. Probably now there's more. Uh, but I've got a slight feeling inside inside me that the Japanese are overpowered by a little bit. Like some, they've got the best, I guess, cost. The cost. So yeah, I saw the 150. I know he doesn't have much infantry. So it's a priority. I'm storming it right now before we can get more troops. Um, this is a pressure game. In pressure games, um, you know that when the enemy is low and you've just got to exploit it really quickly. So it's going to bam that bastard. Multiple grenades. I should have selected them all to throw the grenade once with the new style. <laughs> I didn't need it. That was funny. The, the thing is the multiple grenades obviously will knock the other ones away, so I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited Throwed one grenade at a time, but lucky the first grenade did kill it. Frag grenade. Taking out that unit that would possibly stage a comeback. It's one of those units which are hard to counter if the enemy was protecting it. Indirect fire weapon. Super arc. So I think, yeah, Simmers just lost out in infantry and lost out in all the tank engagements, pretty much all the engagements. Um, execution, really. I think Simmers is a bit out of practice. I'm a bit out of practice too, but Simmers is uh, very, very um, ex less experienced than myself. So just needs to play a bit more. Um, trying to 50-50 me, I think. Let's take it out. Bam! Main gun turret, just swarm in. And there's a Honey, uh, th Honey 3? Is it 3 or 2? I think it's Honey 3. No, 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 Honey 2. It's Honey 2. Uh, it's 2 special points. Pretty good unit for 2 special points. But this is a Sherman. Uh, trying to get off guard. See, Simmons, uh, I think, just needs more execution. 
because uh, he, yeah, he's always having some units. I think it's just a lot of micro that needs to be done in one v one, and uh, there's always units which uh, don't get the right attention at the right moment. That could have been devastating. It's much harder to to watch and play a one v one, especially in uh, the fast pace. How fast pace it is versus the top tier. You have to choose what unit to micro. So nice. I, I don't know why my unit went into the. Probably should have snuck up a bit more to throw a grenade on that instance. I didn't realize there that that many infantry in that vicinity. I didn't want to bring my Sherman there because I'm going to get flanked by something. So I'm going to wait in that area for my next squad to come. And while that's happening, Simmers does attack me with SSD on the western point. Good play. I can't really do much about that now except by a half track. Uh, half tracks can crew injure it and kill it as well. I'll not kill it in a certain way. <laughs> it won't be dead. But it will be um, immobile. It can still fire when it's like that. It's it's a bug. It's kind of like a bug, I think. I don't know if it is a bug or not. It's going to make that horny three uh, turn, and then um, yeah, my Sherman will be able to take it out. Just got the main gun. Uh, I don't think I can venture anything else except the main gun. And I uh, got stuck. No, it doesn't matter. Sacrificed. I uh, know the main gun's down. I'm going to quickly just flame this and get the point. So good playing with that lag. And I'm going to send some guys under the hill just to give him more pain. Yeah, finish him off. Tournament, uh, yeah, two weeks, I guess, or less than two weeks. My pick is uh, Pringles. Mr. Pringles um, is looking so strong in practices. He whooped uh, whooped Chino, whooped me even um, in a few games. Um, I was able to take him out when I had the host benefit, but when when I was had the ping deficit, I couldn't do anything, and I struggled. I, I struggled to win when he was when I had the host advantage. So he's definitely on form, the most on form player in my opinion. But who knows? Still a few more weeks to go. I know a lot of players are practicing still. Anyway, it's all for fun. Um, I find the competitiveness fun. Some people don't. Some people are good players, they enter the tournament just to play, um, but they don't like compete, competing, it's too intense. That's what makes fun, but watch this killer shot, this is unbelievable. I was quite happy with this. Bam! <laughs> Aiming at the concrete, waiting for it. Um... Yep, good game, uh, Simus. Thanks for um, consenting. <laughs> um, you still need a bit of crack, I guess. But his group is rather, in my opinion, probably quite easy. He should top the group. It's not probably one of the easy groups out there. It's by region, by the way. So you can't... Um, surprisingly, the Euros did feel quite a good a uh, good amount of decent players in this tournament. The last few they haven't. And they do have some tough groups in the Euros, Euro um, region. AU, unfortunately, Australia, Asia Pacific region hasn't filled with good, good groups. There's, a f there's really a few good players, but not too many good players because, uh, yeah, the heyday is gone. There's no more in houses anymore in Australia. So we don't practice. So Australian players will definitely be super out of practice. None of them want to practice with me. So I'm getting practices with